Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. Today is day 1,141 of my ketogenic journey, going from 311 pounds, not kidding, used to fill up the entire screen, entire screen. If you don't believe me, peep my very first ever keto weigh-in. And if this video isn't brand new, go check out today's video because there's one every single day. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I ate yesterday. I'll be back with a chit-chat and a kind of sort of weigh-in and hopefully some inspirational stuff. You never know what you're going to find here. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, everything you haven't done yet. If you've already done all that stuff, Yay. All right, now it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave, keto diamond style, and act goofy and foolish, because that's the fun part. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, so at 2.30 p.m., I was trying to hold off on hubby, um, but he's still fixing the, uh, the uh, van, so I broke my fast with... Uh, serving of whole roasted cashews, one cheese stick, and a performance nut butter. Because hubby fixed the van. If we die, it's his fault. What'd you just say? Nothing. Nah, repeat that. You should pay for a mechanic if you don't want to die. I can't afford a mechanic. You are my mechanic. And you get what you get. And you don't pitch a fit. Right. Finally, we are eating. Hubby, it took a long time to get the uh, van done. So uh, it's pretty late in the day. What is it, about 4 o'clock? 4.30? Yeah, it's about 4.30. So I'm having a half pound roast beef and cheddar in a bowl. All right, y'all. So I know this is kind of crazy, but it's midnight. I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning. I had like only five hours of sleep. I'm so tired. All I really want to do is hit the shower and get in bed. But I'm so hungry, I'm nauseous. So I made three sausages and two eggs with the bubbly yellows that I'm going to pop in a minute. <laughs> All right, guys. Calories and macros per my Fitness Pal website. 1,519 calories, 22 grams of total carbohydrates, 123 grams of fat, and 90 grams of protein. I'm not upset with this keto day at all. I want to share something real fast because yeehaw. Um, so Belinda said that she got some of her labs re results back and her triglycerides were which were 650 are now 88. That is wonderful. Your triglycerides are one of the biggest markers to how healthy you are. And when they go high like that, you ain't in good health. You're in danger zone big time. And to be an 88 now, go girl. She said that her cholesterol is better but not perfect. I want you guys I'm not going to repeat all the information. I've written it out I've talked about it a million times. If you're concerned about cholesterol on keto at all if it goes up, if it goes down, anything. If you're concerned at all about cholesterol on keto step on over to ketodiamond.com There's a, it says cholesterol right at the top of the page. Click on that, read that article there's even videos and, and evidence to go along with it that suggest don't worry about your cholesterol high or low. Well, low. Worry about low cholesterol. Don't worry about high cholesterol at all. I'm not a doctor, but everything written there is from doctors. So go check that out. And she also says she's not even close to being a di diabetic. I'm sharing this because these stories are inspiring to others, and I want to make sure you guys hear it. Congratulations, Belinda. That is wonderful and fantastic news, and I hear so many stories like that all the time. I just wanted to share, for those of you who are thinking about starting keto, the benefits are amazing. A lot of people, I can't give up my bread. Well, okay. Sorry. You should. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. It's beyond worth it. Not just for your weight, but for your health. It's worth it. All right, so first of all, y'all might have noticed the Captain America necklace has disappeared. It's, it's, this old thing's reappeared. Not sure if y'all ever paid attention to this necklace. This one's too big for Athena to swallow. I actually gave it to Corey because Anthony used to chew on it all the time, and, you know, she held him a lot. So, um, now Athena's chewing on my necklace is a lot, lot, and that other piece is just too small, and it could get in her throat, and I don't want her to get hurt. She's done broke that necklace once. So, we're back to the big hunker. Which, off-scale victory, I guess. I don't know if it's really a victory, but off-scale something. Um, this thing is heavy. I didn't used to notice how heavy necklaces and stuff were, but now it's heavy. I also need a little piece of advice. This sticker here. Now, Miss Lisa sent me this shirt. 
All the shirts she made are phenomenal, fantastic. Y'all see the colors of this? I love it. The only thing I'm wondering is, is I don't think this is actually a sticker because I'm coming across this material on a lot of shirts now. But is there a special care instruction? Should you not dry this? Because it feels like a sticker. Y'all hear that loud Mustang pulling in? That's my son coming down the road. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's done, it's 85. He's done been working on it for, for the longest time, but he loves his car. Oh, he's already here. Oh, baby's awake. Hold on. I'm gonna have to, I'll be right back. So many hours and a lot of work later, I'm back with the paper cut. Didn't mean to flip you off. Uh, I, I went outside to get one of my uh, Diet Cherry Dr. Peppers out of my van and um, I decided the yard needed to be sprayed again. I decided the porch needed to be cleaned off and I needed to put this away and do this and come back in and wash that mask for school. He usually goes to his other grandma's house on the weekend and he stayed home this weekend. So the weekend prep work is mine. She usually takes him on Monday morning, so she does all that. And uh, But when he stays home, this granny gets it. Plus, uh, Destiny had to go in early. Little Brian got off late, so I had Athena a little bit longer. She fell asleep on my chest before where, where she woke up earlier uh, to the song Elvira by the Oak Ridge Boys. It turns out she loves that song. It's cute as it can be. Um, <laughs> old school baby. Old soul. Um, okay, so let's talk. What have I talked about so far? I have no earthly idea. Let's talk about my keto day yesterday. So we went to Arby's. Now I want to talk about Arby's because I know that Arby's is probably slowing me down. While it's keto-esque, it's probably not really good keto. I'm sure the Red Ranch has um, stuff like corn syrup in it. I'm sure that their, their melted cheddar has a bunch of crap in it. I'm sure there's an ingredients list on both of those things a mile long that I like on my half pound roast beef and cheddar. So, I'm sure that slows me down. Now, understand that if you're new to me, you won't know this, but I'm at a good set point, but I still want to lose more. So, I really need to stop eating those as much. Oddly enough, I think Burger King affects me more than Arby's, and that's just beef, cheese, and bacon. But it could be something in their bacon or their American cheese. It's hard to say. Plus, it was raw the other day. That's never cool. I, I really need to... Um, back off. I don't really think eating out is a bad thing. If you've been watching me in, uh, for a while, you'll know that I went through my Baconator diet phase where I ate pretty much nothing but Baconators from Wendy's and homemade Baconators and weight loss was wonderful. So I think that, I want to say that's a good way to go again. The thing is I've ate so much of that that the thought just completely turns me off and I, I know a lot of you know that I used to go to Wendy's a lot lot. And now I like, you haven't seen a Wendy's meal out of me in a long time, right? So <laughs> I just, I got kind of tired of it. And I don't know. I know what I'm doing to slow me down. But a lot of people, if you follow me, you probably shouldn't follow exactly what I do. Or at least at times where my weight is stagnant and stale and not moving. Um, a lot of those, like the keto bars, the good fats bars, the, um, the, the various products I get to try while I love trying those and I'm at a good set point for my body now those are not conducive of losing weight rapidly those are more for an occasional treat of somebody let's let's just say your your PMS -y. speaking of which I restarted that this month I don't get it but I did I'm not happy about that but anyway um, yeah so I think I started around the first and I started again today I don't like it I don't want it but it's life and it is what it is. What was I talking about? Come on, get your head in the game, girl. But <laughs> anyway, eating things like that frequently are going to stall you out. Almost every stall on keto is probably to do with some kind of artificial sweetener. Even if you don't realize it's messing with you, it is. A lot of these products, which I can't have products that contain sucralose, I will find out about that immediately. I'll be kicked, I'll gain water weight, my head will start pounding. But a lot of people don't have those same side effects and they, not, they might not realize that these are the products slowing them down. There's also things like for me, eating any kind of cream cheese, heavy whipped cream, uh, sour cream, uh, the, the things that are heavily laden with milk products those affect me for some reason ranch doesn't or most ranches don't anyway um butter doesn't regular like um shredded cheese doesn't american cheese doesn't slow me down but any kind of heavier cream cheeses will and cr creams so 
these are the things I know what's stalling me. I know what's causing my weight to stay around about the same area that it is. Now again, my scale being broken, I can't tell exactly what I weigh. I did get on it to play with it this morning. It's just a force of habit, y'all. I've always gotten on the scale first thing in the morning after, you know, going to the bathroom throughout my three years of keto. And this morning, I got a wonderful shot, 137. It wasn't. Um, the closest I did lock in on was 163.4, which is what I got yesterday, too. So that's probably very accurate range-ish. But again, you know, yesterday I got 170, 169, 129. That scale's just messed up. It's just fried. So I don't know exactly what I weigh, but I am pretty sure I haven't lost any over the course of the last few days. Primarily because of stuff like the beef and cheddar and the the keto the good fats bars Again, it's not that I think these things are bad. It's not that I think they're not keto friendly They might not kick you out of ketosis But they may still slow your weight and and stop you from dropping any fat weight So use them for an occasional treat use them if you're about to start lady issues and you just you crave 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 if, if that's the case and you know, get you some of these products but in general, don't use these all the time. These, the, you shouldn't make them a crutch. <coughs> so, I mean, I, I know. And then, like, I ate super, super late last night, which I wouldn't have done, but I was so nauseous. And for me, again, that's a sign of hunger. And if I don't eat, the nausea will just continue. So, I go ahead and eat something, it passes, and I'm done. But if I hadn't ate last night, I, I would have felt just miserable and I probably wouldn't have been able to sleep. Speaking of something cute, now my grandson's gotten real heavy, the oldest one, has gotten really heavy into bedtime stories. The funny thing is, like several years ago, I, I, I donated like tons and tons of his books because he never asked for bedtime stories. He never cared about them at all. He never mentioned them at all. Now it's every single night. What about my bedtime story? So for the last three nights in a row, I've read... Um, Treasure Island. I'm getting kind of sick of Treasure Island over and over. Probably going to pop by Goodwill or Dollar Tree today and get just a couple little storybooks just to have something to mix it up. You know what I mean? Um, which I feel like I'm living at Dollar Tree lately. I haven't been in a while until recently and now I'm kind of going a lot. It's cheap. It's cheap. You know what I mean? What can you do? Oh my goodness. I'm tired now. I really am. I don't know if I mentioned this, but just in case I didn't, hop over, subscribe to Jelly Over Fat to Keto. Check out a lot of these small keto YouTubers. There are a lot, lot, and a lot of great people. And they deserve some love and joy and, sh and sharing and caring. And uh, I'd like to see their channel grow too. I'd like to see mine explode, so make sure you hit that, sh that share button, even though I'm all over the place. I was also asked where these good fat bars are in Walmart. They are over in the pharmacy section near like the diet foods. You know, you got the Slim Fast and all that, that stuff. And like the Good Fats bars are there. There are keto cookies there. Again, occasional treats. Um, I, I don't do that. And I'm actually, I feel kind of bad about that because I am somebody that people watch on a daily basis. And I don't want you to think just because I'm doing these quite frequently, that's the right way to do it. It's not. The right way to do it is... If you're going to have these things, make them few and far between, make them rare. If you want to have a snack on a Friday night or a Saturday night that it's keto friendly, that's where you should be. I mean, it's risk and reward, you know what I mean? Uh, but doing it often will slow you down and will stall you. Drinking energy drinks often, drinking protein shakes often, um, a lot of these things will slow you down just because of the artificial sweeteners in it or the list of ingredients that's a mile long that you don't recognize or understand. The best course of keto is keeping it simple. Um, whole foods, which means meat, cheese, eggs, green leafy vegetables. When you read the label, it's got three or four things on it and you recognize all three or four names. It's all the food. You know, it's not red dye number 72 and, and, and sucralose and, and aspartame and aciflame. And it's not a bunch of long winded words that somebody made up it, it's it's a real food. It's a cashew. It's a it's a salt. That's it. You know that that's the best course of action on keto. That's what's going to make your journey the fastest. Avoid long labels if you possibly can. Again, I understand the occasional treat. What I do here is more for my pleasure and enjoyment and to share new things with you guys. But that does take away of what I actually believe. And 
I'd like to say I'm not going to do that, but I'm, I am. I, I do enjoy trying these products. I just want you to understand that that's not what I recommend for you and for everybody else on a daily basis. My camera's about to die, so guys and dolls, if you love me, share. If you need help, my contact information is below. If you um, would like to support the channel, there are links below to do so in different ways of a post office box and all that. There are cool things you can get below for 70% off and even more. Go check all that out. Much love to you. Many prayers. See you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.